hello welcome back to my youtube channel this is your boy dr rogers a multiple scholarship winner also a research professor in korea so if you're new on this channel please do stay fixed and make sure you subscribe because in this channel we don't we do talk about scholarships how to write um contact professors how you can apply for research positions how you can you know prepare and apply and get all the scholarships all by your own so i do share lots of scholarship tips based on my experience because i've studied throughout my graduate study without paying a dime because i was fortunate to get lots of scholarships which helped me to study in school and also improve my productivity and i didn't get them because i'm you know a genius or top in my class but even though some people claim I'm smart, but that's not it. Anybody can get a scholarship. So today we're going to be talking about if you can use chat GPT to prepare your cover letter. Okay, so let's dive in right into it. Yes, you can prepare chat GTP to prepare your cover letters. And no, you cannot use it to prepare your cover letter. So when um, chat uh, GTP, which is an, an open um it is an open and artificial software which will permit you to provide you um answers you can probably write out the whole thing like if you are you know trying to write a cover letter it's going to type the whole thing for you but uh let me show you what i'm talking about So you like um, what you just saw in the video I just showed you it's able to write the whole thing and if you write if you're able to read through the whole um, document what it's written is that it makes legit sense like absolute sense but um, you cannot copy the whole thing and just paste and send to your manager or whatever you're trying to apply for because first of all even though um, chat uh, gtp was developed or had been developed which is an open um, artificial software there is also what has been created which is called a zero chat gtp so that uh, software is going to show you uh, someone that was written using an artificial software so i'm going to show you what i mean in my chat gtp if i copy this okay if I copy this, copy and another so zero GTP. Okay, this is zero GTP. Um, yep, yeah. So zero GTP. If I copy and I paste it here. So we need to click on the agree and get the results. So your text is likely to be written by artificial ATP. So they're going to tell you only the father guy shown are free of it. So this software is going to tell um, the person evaluating your form that this was written by an artificial software and it's going to be done. That is how, and I think a lot of scholarship boards, because they do update lots of ways of evaluating students, so they're going to definitely find out that you are using chat GTP and you're going to lose the position you're applying for. So I advise you, you can use it, but if you want to use it, make sure whatsoever you get there, 
you just use it for clarity you can use it to improve your grammar you can use it to improve your sentence but do not copy the whole thing word for word it's not really going to be a correct so make sure you use it smartly but don't copy word for word try to be creative because uh, when you're applying for scholarships and job positions people are trying to um, recruit people who can think for, for themselves not people who can are able to be you know not people who, who cheat because if you just use the artificial software and copy what the provider gives that is an indirect form of cheating which is not acceptable so if you love this video make sure you love share subscribe and like and see you again in my next video bye